Gamers and gamers, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And guys, enjoy the gameplay in the background. I'm showcasing a little bit of gameplay from Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice from the Nintendo Switch. Now, before we get into today's video, I do want to give a special shout out and a special thank you to Bandai Namco for hooking up with a review key for the Nintendo Switch version. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and get right on into it and talk about my first impressions and how I'm feeling about the Switch version and just, you know, this game as a whole overall because I have actually featured this game on the channel here before. If this game looks vaguely familiar to you, that's probably because it should be. I originally covered it on the Xbox One roughly, I'm going to say two or three years ago now when, um, when it launched on Xbox, PlayStation, and I believe Alicization Licorice is on PC. I'm not 100% sure. Um, feel free to let me know down in the comments below if you've um, played it or checked the game out on PC. And the more and more I look at a lot of these Sword Art Online games, the more and more I ask myself, Bandai, why don't y'all just make an MMO based in the Sword Art universe? Like, I'm serious. When you look at these games, the effort and the work and everything that they put into these different Sword Art Online games especially the Sword Art Online series, you can tell the passion to make an MMORPG is there. Because like it's like every time they make one of these Sword Art Online games, there's a little bit of an improvement from how things were in the previous game. Now, the thing about these is, at the end of the day, the Sword Art Online games, they're nothing but single-player games with a side of multiplayer action RPG elements. Usually the multiplayer in these games takes place and is your source of like um, end game content or something that they can do. And it's usually the type of DLC that's expanded upon in this game. However, Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice, especially you know, from the DLC and support it was getting um, years back, especially when it first launched, was a little bit of a different style. This one seemed to be more of the working of like a, I'm not going to say like a live service title, but Bandai has supported this game with back-to-back -back, um, updates, all kinds of different, you know, items added to the in-game store for like costumes and stuff like that. And they just did a lot with this game. However, there is one thing with this particular title that drives me nuts still. And if you haven't guessed by now, it's the first chapter. I hate this long, just over tutorialized, forever taking chapter that just blocks you from the meat of the game. <laughs> and I think this first chapter is probably one of the biggest mistakes <laughs> that Bandai made when it came to this game. And here, here's why. The problem with the first chapter is, right, is, you know, it, it just makes it feel like this basic... I'm not going to say shallow, but a simple Sword Art Online game that you've already experienced. You know, there's some new, it, it feels like, you know, some of the other ones with a faster combat pacing, some new combat gimmicks, you know, better looking visuals, but that's about it. And in reality, there is so much more to this game. Like, there are people out there who probably don't even know. You get your own custom character and avatar in this game. There's multiplayer dungeons and a raid and raids in this game. That's right. There's eight and I believe I believe they go up to eight players. They're like eight and ten ten men um, raid style bosses and trials and everything in this game that you can do online with your friends and other custom um, built players from around the world and stuff like that. There's so much to this game, but this first chapter of it. It's just such a long, lingering, tutorial-style, story-based, dragged-on, whatever. <laughs> and, our, and mind you, I'm a fan of the Sword Art Online anime. I love the anime. Um, I still have some catching up to do on it. I haven't actually finished Sword Art Online, but I love it. And I love the lore. But if you are someone like me who did your research on this game before um, deciding to go and get in invested into it, then the early stages of it will probably annoy you. So let me explain. Once you finish chapter one, this game opens up and, you know, just blooms. There's multiplayer access. There's um, there's still, you know, the single player and questing and everything else that you, that you got to do. Don't get me wrong. That's all there. But you get access to um, creating your own character. Finally, you know, making a build style of of a character that you want. And just all kinds of different aspects of customization. 
and it's amazing. All of it, you know, it's it's a you know just a, a fun, great time. I remember when I played it on Xbox. It took me forever to get through the first chapter. I think there's an article somewhere that says it's like between eight and twenty hours of gameplay, depending on how you pace it. It can take you up to twenty hours to get out of the first chapter of this game, and I just think that's crazy. And I think they kind of shoot themselves in the foot with that because the game flourishes into so much more. And an RPG of all things, a role-playing game, you know, where you want to get invested into your character, make it, make he or she, you know, something crazy, cool that fits your style and stuff like that. Why would you put all of those features behind this wall? <laughs> like, I mean, you know, I get it, you know, the game needs a tutorial, you know, there has to be an introduction and, and stuff like that. But whoever decided to put all that stuff behind this extensively long beginning portion of this game i just i don't, I don't know who thought that was a good idea <laughs> but sword art online alicization licorice is honestly you know just a a fun time and bandai you know they've been adding content and expanding on it you know for years they've been doing all kinds of great things with this game and not to mention there's already a version for the switch out now in the um, eShop. I believe it's um, 69 or 74.99 US dollars. I'm not quite sure. Don't exactly remember the price, but it actually comes with a lot of the um, a lot of the DLC, different outfits, and different stuff you can access. You know, to put on your custom character and everything once you get to that point. But there's just you know there's so much meat here and potatoes to this game. It's just I hate the way it's um it's it's blocked off. And you know, and let's say you know you're a gamer with not much time on your hands. You know, you could play a few hours of this, just feel it off as some single player game that doesn't offer much, and you will never know what else this game has to offer because you're limited on time. And you know, let, let, let's face it, the this today's world isn't getting any any cheaper and giving a way for people to work less hours. So it is a very big possibility that people play this game dive into it for a few hours, like it or don't like it, and the ones that end up don't like it and dropping it, they never find out what it truly has to offer. And that's the only thing that scares me. Like, I wish there was an option to skip that or something. You know, I wish... I know I'm ranting about this part a lot, but it's my only gripe with this game. The combat is fun. The customization is great. The weapon variety is awesome. The worlds are cool. The characters are great. It's full of Sword Art Online lore. And, you know, it's... And this one actually feels as if, you know, you put yourself into that universe. It's almost like, you know, it wants to be an MMO, but it's just a really big action RPG with a lot of decent multiplayer features. Now, granted, you know, I have, when, when the game first came out, the multiplayer was a bit rough around the edges. Still, this game offers a ton, and the fact that it's on Switch now is awesome, but God, <laughs> just, if you can get through that intro and that first chapter... Just know that there is a lot, and I mean a lot, to be joyous about after that point. But guys, honestly, in my opinion, Alicization Licorice is a great game. It's just, that first chapter drives me nuts. Like I said before when I played it, <laughs> and, you know, I think I said the same thing about it when I, when I reviewed it back on Xbox. And that opinion really hasn't changed. I wish they would just add an option to skip it or, you know, we just go through it quicker or, or something. But anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video? Smash that like button. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.